What's up, you guys? Heath with Saki Bomb Garage. We're going to walk you through some of the new products that we've got here. Uh, one of them is our pillow ball replacement for the FD RX7. Uh, so as many of you know or have heard of, uh, the FD has race suspension um, in the back of the car. So uh, we've actually got spherical bearings uh, in three positions on each side. So this is the upper control arm. We've got the lower control arm. Lower control arm has two spherical bearings in it and the upper has a single. So this keeps the wheel constrained in up, down, left, right, and in and out. Uh, so we've got three different dimensions of control, three different bearings on each side. So we have six bearings total. Um, so in the FD RX-7, uh, you know, essentially we've got race suspension. Most other um, suspensions in your average car, even performance sports cars, have just a rubber bushing. So uh, this one's actually the shock mount. This is a kind of a good example. It's just a, a piece of rubber, uh, but in the RX-7 or in high performance applications, we've got spherical bearings. That allows exact movement of the wheels up and down, uh, and there's no slop in the bushings. However, uh, in spherical bearing applications, uh, we do see wear. So um, in the Mazda OEM one, uh, this is actually a grease-filled um, kind of bearing cartridge. Uh, it's very similar to something that you'd see in the aftermarket, except it's actually made of nylon and packed with grease. So uh, oftentimes what we'll see is uh, a car with very low miles, let's say 20, 30,000 miles, but the car's 30 years old, comes in here, um, we get the car up on the rack, um, we take a look at it's best to get your kind of shoulder up underneath the wheel and you can kind of try to lift that wheel up and create some movement. If you feel any movement, knocking, clicking, it's probable that your pillow balls have gone bad. Um, and uh, so you'll, you'll notice that um, with the weight of the car sitting on these nylon inserts, they actually deform over time. Uh, that deformation gets kind of worse and worse and it starts to act like a slide hammer. So uh, here's one, you know, you can, you can see that this is a very, very loose uh, fit. Uh, there's a lot of movement here. So uh, this will actually cause the wheel, will cause rear wheel hop uh, and other uh, negative uh, handling uh, issues for the car. So even over time, uh, they'll simply wear out just with the weight of the vehicle sitting on the car, kind of compressing this nylon. Um, in an aftermarket application or race car applications, what we'll use is something that's more expensive. So this is actually a Teflon lined bearing. So I don't know if you can see this, you might need to get in a little closer, but um, it's a, a very uh, tight press fit uh, and the Teflon does not deform. Teflon acts as a lubricant. So similar to the pillow balls that are packed with grease, uh, the Teflon bearing, uh, uh, Teflon liner uh, allows the ball bearing to move and its articulation, but it doesn't wear out as easily and it doesn't age out over time uh, like the standard nylon inserts do. So uh, we've got our own set of replacement sphericals. So here's your OEM sphericle. This one's nice and loose. It's got about 30 years of wear on it. Um, and here is our new aftermarket versions. We use a Teflon lined, high quality US made ball bearing. Um, and uh, this will last for a very, very long time, not need replacement, uh, and it's just a more expensive version of the pillow balls. Um, we've even gone ahead and made our own replacement dust seals. So uh, this dust seal, uh, there's 12 per kit. This seals in all uh, three per side uh, for the uh, pillow balls. So, um, OEM dust seals, they're very expensive. Uh, we went through the trouble of manufacturing our own dust seals. Uh, inside of here, there's a metal ring, uh, and then we have a high temperature, high elasticity seal. Uh, a lot of the OEM seals will wear out over time and they kind of lose their elasticity. This one should last as long as the pillow balls do in your control arms. We also offer installation services. So if you don't happen to have a press at your house or it's too uh, complicated, you don't have all the press tools, uh, you can actually send your control arms into us and we will press your old pillow balls out, 
press the new ones in. Uh, and then we also have a vapor honing machine here on site. So uh, this, the, both of these came out of the same car. Uh, this, is, this is the original, not in great shape. Uh, vapor honing is essentially a special glass bead media blasting machine. It's a combination of water and uh, fine glass bead. Um, it's an expensive machine, but it restores the finish of the castings back basically to when they were new. So uh, in, that, in the installation process, we'll vapor hone and restore your arms before pressing in the new pillow ball bushings. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, info at sakibombgarage.com. Give us a call or find us on Instagram or Facebook. Thanks.